I got a treasure here. I'm guessing, I'm guessing anchor. It's like a diamond braid or something line. I think we're, I think we got an anchor, or some sort of, some sort of heavy contraption here. Let's try to get on the other side of it. I don't know what it is about me and trees, but we got another one here. Unfortunately, it didn't get us, but it's a big one. Well, it took everybody's advice. I went and bought a magnet. It's like 25 bucks. Now I'm spending 25 bucks to find a $15 wrench. I know it doesn't make any sense, but eh, maybe I'll drop something else over and eventually break even. I, I probably should have just bought another wrench. I don't know. Anyway, here's my magnet. Like, uh, I think 750 pounds of gripping strength. Came with a rope and circle eye or screw eyes to screw into it you can mount it flat or sideways a pair of gloves some loctite you know hey good deal it is what it is could be a treasure chase Captain Abraham. found me a, a myriad of anchors over my career Keep crabbing weird. Definitely an interesting one. Has a double point. Not one I see very often. I think I've only ever seen one other one. It was a little bit different than this one. Well, old Luke borrowed my truck to go get bait. I have a feeling there will be some content to come out of it. What but I did a... smell? <laughs> Smells like dogs and I don't know, something in here is terrible. But I did acquire a new Yeti and a Mountain Dew. Not a bad trade for letting them use my truck. You got a chain. Well. Somebody dropped a pot off the roof the other day. I'm not mentioning any names. It's only so many you can mention. But I bought myself a little grappling hook. Been wanting to get one of these anyway. Going to try to use it. I got that rope, rope grappler. I think if I can chuck this over right away when you drop it, might have a chance. I added a piece of chain to it. We'll see. We're going to drag around, try to find it again. We looked for it the other day. Got it marked good, but trying to find a pot that you dropped over i don't care if it's in two foot or 20 foot it's like finding a needle in a haystack and i just i ain't good at it so who knows stay tuned maybe we'll find it who knows never know christmas look at this thing whoa holy cow that's a couple hundred dollar bill right there baby yikes what is it lumar lumar stainless anchor Plenty of change. That's birthday. money, dude. Happy birthday, Mickey. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mickey. Here we go. Yeah, today's Mickey's birthday. 22 pounds. Look at that. That's cool. There's that like nice. 30, 30 feet of change. Something underneath the call box. Hey, everybody makes fun of me for pulling lines up and anchors on them. I just got this payday on that one. Oh, we just found a glove floating. Free gloves. sold an anchor to a guy I found. It was uh, one like that, like one of them uh, plow anchors or whatever. I think I made about a hundred bucks on it. And this one here is going to be big money. You can sell that to Luke if you can always break it down. <laughs> hey, good idea. Luke, Luke should buy that. Sold. Don't be that guy! Oh, Ken, TikTok talking about braid. We found a bunch too.
do. I don't know what kind of rig this is, but it's a good one. Hold that up. Six ounce inline weight, couple snap swivels, and a circle hook on the back end. About 100 feet of braid. I feel like if you're using braid, you're probably like, you know, you know what you're doing as a fisherman. Maybe I'm wrong. Because yeah. whoever rigged this up don't know what they're doing. Let's grab angle up. Well, another good day. Been a good season. Huge shout out to everybody that's watched, that's liked, subscribed, commented. You guys keep me moving between Jesus and my wife and you guys. You keep me keep me going it's been a grind of a season the older i get the harder it is i can tell you that and i ain't even old yet the crabs have kind of fallen off kind of that time of year a lot of these small males are going to shed we also had a fair bit of rain i, I didn't get a chance to check my rain gauge it had to have a bunch of water in it so it, water's, water's cooled off a little bit and Oh, there's an empty pot. Like I said, they're falling off. I want to thank everybody. Now, there's been a few people I know maybe got rubbed a little wrong. We always want to keep it PG and on the up and up, but I know sometimes the comments get a little, little ribbon, a little bit, you know, whatever. And I'm always joking, always having a good time. Try not to offend anybody. That's never my goal. Unless I'm talking about sewage treatment, then I'm, then I'm serious. Other than that, we're always joking, having a good time. If I've said anything to rub you wrong, I apologize. That's never the case. Sometimes you guys got to use commas better because I can't follow all the, the writing. And if you, you know, you know what I mean. Anyway, thanks everybody again for watching. Well, I was wrong. It wasn't a couple hundred dollar bill. It was a thousand dollar bill. Maybe somebody lost it and would like it back. It's kind of serious, Robert. Well, uh, I'll post it on all the social medias and... Maybe we can get it back for somebody who owned it. That'd be nice. If not, it's for sale. <laughs> well, I think you better that make sure it belongs to whoever they say it is. That's the problem. Everybody's seen it now. Another one loose. Another one. What are we going to call it? We're going to call these. This is getting expensive for this guy. This is the fourth fourth one he's lost. Same rig, same bro. Same rig, everything. Same line. Yeah, yeah, the whole deal. Can you pull all that? Maybe the same guy that lost his anchor lost Catch all this crazy fishing tackle. tackle. Those sinkers are probably a couple dollars a piece, ain't it? Yes. They're all brand new. Brand new swivel, brand new hooks. Oh boy, those are pretty. Now I know what you're thinking, they're the scourge of the earth, these balloons. But don't let them fool you, it's not the straws and the balloons. It's the sewage and uncontrolled runoff, that's the problem. Focus on the problem, not the shiny balloons. You gotta do something about the real problem, not the artificial, the... Kill it! <laughs> Stay focused on the prize. We gotta clean this water off. Water quality is number one. Well, the train of treasures continues. We got a double rig here. And a whole bunch of fishing line. Well, that was fun. Unless you're Chris who had to pull it all in. <laughs> Show the good people of YouTube what we what we've acquired. <laughs> couple feet, just you a couple feet of mono, two feet line. Might be plural. Two ounce and four ounce tandem rig. Nice, nice and fresh. Pretty colors. Beautiful. And way too much line. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna let you go. Have fun with that, Jake. <laughs> What'd you get for filming?
This guy is Fortnite the crab. He's got algae on him, black spots all over him, barnacles. Or for the older people, Mad Max. Well, another decent day. We ain't setting the world on fire anymore. We're back to grinding, but it's been a good day. We did find some cool stuff today. A couple fishing lures. Found some big weight, like six ounce trolling weights with hooks on, who knows. And the find of the day is that beauty right there. That is a Lumar 22 pound anchor, stainless steel. Retail value, hold on to your hat, $1,100. If you have a stainless Lumar 22 pound anchor on your boat, you definitely ain't no crabber. Although I might just put it on the front just for show. Just run down the river, I got that big anchor on there, boy, I'll be top dog, big money. Woo! If you lost an anchor north of the Bay Bridge, I'm not saying roundabouts where, I'm liable to get some people telling me they it's theirs and it ain't. Tell me exactly where it was, I'll get it back to you. I'd be glad to. If not, it's going for sale on the auction block. These things are made in England, I guess. Look at that stainless swivel piece. That's probably a hundred dollars. Thirty foot of chain or roughly. Look at the splicing job that's amazing someone spent some time but they didn't check the chafing and it appears like it snapped off can't imagine the boat I'll, I'll be curious to see if somebody gets it back what boat this came off of old chooch here came up with a pretty good idea for the anchor next time you got an anchor make sure you do what engrave your phone number into it if you're gonna go off and spend eleven hundred dollars in it too expensive just to lose you gotta engrave your phone number in it there you go i could be calling you right now you could be getting your anchor back instead of me having to post a bunch of social media stuff and track and yada 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 put your phone number on there next time you're gonna spend that kind of money you can at least get your number put on there get the work